Good afternoon. Hello. Welcome to this week's Letter from the Light Side. My name's Annie Conboy and I'm hoping to speak to you on behalf of my guides and inspirers. And well, what a week it's been. An interesting energy week. <coughs> just literally run to the post office and run back because I had something to pay in. I don't know if you can understand any of that but never mind <coughs> <coughs> they're filling me up with their energy so I'm already hot and sticky and they're just filling me up with even more energy to make me more hot oh you gotta love these guides and inspire us um, I do want to acknowledge that uh, who've been around me today is very much uh, the Earth's Guardian Angels um, led by um, Archangel Ateliel. It's his month. He's the Archangel of Love. Um, he's the one who brings in the light. Uh, it's no surprise that he covers the longest day when we've got the most light. Uh, so his energy is very much here. Um, I also want to mention another Archangel who's with us and her name is Camelliel. What you might have been experiencing over the last week is a lot of um, past life energy surfacing. One of the things, oh hi Marie, one of the things that's happening at the moment is we're in a uh, process of purification. Um, that might sound odd <laughs> to say that, um, but actually uh, many of us are on uh, our final ascension life this time round, which is why it might seem like a really hard life, because we've brought in all the karma that we didn't balance before now, and we've kind of gone, yeah, no problem, I'll balance it all, just chuck it at me. <sighs> Weren't we the daft ones? Anyway, so um, we are having an, a, an, another massive energy shift in September, kind of like a spiritual exam, one that we can all pass, but we can only pass it if we actually become as authentic as we can be, uh, as true to ourselves as we can be. When we start to uh, embrace that knowledge and love ourselves, for the talents and abilities we have which is why many people are feeling really stuck because um, we've got to get rid of those voices that say mm, you're not very good at that or oh I don't like that about me or even I'm not worthy we've got to get rid of, of all those judgments that have crowded in on us not just from this life but from our past life perspective as well so, purification, ending this karmic energy. So, you won't be a bit surprised to find that on Saturday, I was running a past life workshop for some people. <laughs> Don't they all just organise it wonderfully, our guides and inspirers? I didn't know when I put it in my diary and agreed to do it that it would be perfectly right because it was the weekend to release energy. But as with anything that we do, uh, as maybe teachers or uh, mentors or whatever, uh, the people who are in front of us are the people who help us to deal with whatever we need to deal with as well. So in the middle of this process of purification on Friday night, I started having a past life recall. It went through Saturday, went through Sunday, and I didn't manage to release it until I went along to a beautiful crystal sound ball um, treatment um, on Monday afternoon. Um, so it wasn't very easy to put up with the aches and pains and the, the physicality, the physical feelings of that past life. But the point was that that's the last phase I have to release. I've released it spiritually, I've released it emotionally, I've released it mentally, now I'm releasing it physically because our physical bodies 
remember. They are our reminder. We constructed them in spirit to be our reminder of our past life positions, our past life karma. So, I'm quite relieved it's gone now. <laughs> so if you've been having stray random aches and pains, if you've had a situation over the weekend where you've gone, oh, what's going on? It's to do with clearing that final bit of karma and letting it go as easily as possible. We don't have to know the nitty gritty of past lives to say, I actually don't want that energy, thank you very much. We don't even have to believe in past lives. We can just say, well, if it's not this life, get rid of it. And when we do let ourselves release it, it unsticks a part of us that we've been pressing down and repressing. Hi, Amaza. Um, my past life uh, releasing was about me repressing a part of me and me not wanting to let that part out and that part that I didn't want to let out was my clairvoyance um i am very strong in all my psychic senses except clairvoyance because in that past life i happened to be one of these visionaries who uh kept giving visions but some of the visions weren't good news for the people who were receiving the information to the point where eventually somebody said, oh, off with her, <laughs> she do her in because she's, she's forecasting doom and gloom on me. <laughs> so I'm laughing about it now. I'm sure I wasn't laughing about it in the slightest in that past life. However, in this life, I brought in a block to my third eye, which I've been very aware of. And over the last... Uh, 10 or 11 years I've been consciously working on clearing and it's slow <laughs> it's slow progress however I set my intention when I knew that we were going to be having this kind of spiritual test I thought well, work <laughs> I better be able to see what's coming so I've been consciously saying I want to remove this block <laughs> so you may pick up on this broadcast whenever you watch it that I'm a little bit snotty nosed, uh, <laughs> a little bit sinusy, because when I actually released the physicality of it on Monday, of course, what started to happen was my third eye thought, all right, okay, that's all done and dusted. Let's get on with releasing this block. Hi, Gemma. And that's what's been happening. <laughs> so that I can see clairvoyantly again, as strongly as I need to. And that's the fascination of working with past lives. That's the fascination of being in this purification process <clears throat> because we are hoping to come to a place of embracing all of our abilities and saying, yeah, I can do that. Um, and it's important to allow ourselves to do that so that we can be contributing in the best way that we are able so just have a think if you get five minutes have a think about what themes have been coming up over the last seven days have a think about what you're being encouraged to let go out of your life um Camelliel, who i mentioned is the keeper of the Akashic Records. She's the Archangel, the, the Earth's Archangel, who's responsible for our records in that part of the Central Library, if you like, the Hall of Records. And Camellio can help you to release, to find out and release. Um, thanks for sharing the videos, by the way, guys. It's brilliant. Um, and if you go to my YouTube page which is astral annie uh, or just google uh, annie convoy or search annie convoy i should say on youtube y you'll find a, a, a wave of energy from camellio uh, it's one i sent out uh, back last year but it's to help people to reconnect recognize and reconnect it's hard to say both of them together <laughs> um, they do have me saying some stuff um, but it allows us to 
uh, recover that past life information in a way that is going to be helpful to let us release it. It's not about any trauma in a past life. It's about wisdom. And the wisdom for me of the life I've been releasing is that I have to uh, see it as it is, tell it as it is. Whether somebody likes that or not, uh, it's my job to read it the way it comes in. Hi, Chris. So there's a um, very much um, a truthfulness in this last seven days of showing you what your talent is and asking you to look at maybe things that you're saying I can't do or that's not for me to do and go back to oh maybe that's what I should be doing um there's a wonderful thing that happens when you release yourself from that karmic thread it doesn't ever bother you again it doesn't keep rippling and it doesn't keep creating patterns where you lock yourself in or keep being stuck when you release that karmic energy when you say well i'll embrace the wisdom i'll do it differently this time what you're saying is i've learned that lesson thank you i don't need it anymore and as i said earlier we're right in the middle of our ascension life most of us aiming to go back at a higher level aiming to go back having done this cycle of lives and to start a fresh um, process a fresh cycle that brings us different experience and different growth i for one definitely want to finish this period of growth I keep saying to people please send me to a planet where I can just stir a bit of primordial soup and, and encourage life watch the sunset with me G and T in my hand <laughs> I don't think they're taking any notice somehow but I keep asking for it and I keep saying that to the universe you know I'd like this to just be let's have a rest cycle <laughs> so what's it going to be for the next week where's this energy leading us well we're striding along nicely in this um new moon energy in this uh, uh heading towards the full moon heading towards uh a, another opportunity to say come on universe bring it on this is what i want this is what i require and desire so in the next week what i do feel I need to highlight to you is the presence of Camellio's continued energy the releasing of uh, the shoulds the musts the oughts the responsibilities the duties recognizing that um, our role here is to be the best person we can be at any moment not a perfect person but engaging ourselves in doing things that we're passionate about and that we really believe are important to us as individuals if we all use our unique talents and pull together that vast range of talent what we do is we change the world bit by bit by bit so this next seven days again you'll be asking yourself the question where's the love Where's the compassion? Am I giving myself enough love and compassion and understanding? Uh, am I uh, sharing that love and compassion and understanding? Now, nobody's perfect, least of all me. And um, there are definitely days when I go, mm -hmm. and I really don't, really don't want to be human, never mind share with human beings. <laughs> But it's about encouraging yourself to send the positive vibrations, to remind yourself that you've been all things in all lives. Um, one of the things that's crazy is when I read my Facebook news feed, and please feel free, if you want to send me a friend request, you're more than welcome. Um, I, I love connecting with people. But when I read my news feed, 
sometimes things pop up and they are hurtful or aggressive or angry or hateful and they are not the way to change the energy. I do feel we should be passionate about causes. I do feel we should be passionate about changing what doesn't work, what's broken, um, changing from within ourselves. We've got to do an inner journey before we can do an outer journey. But I also feel that one of the best things we can do is to try to radiate that loving, positive energy on our social media, on our uh, connections with people, uh, our texting, uh, our, 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 I would love them to do a segment of positive news, the nice things that are happening in the world. Um, we need to start showing that we want the positive by being positive ourselves and thinking very carefully about the energy we're sending out because what you send out you get back so you can expect in the next seven days to get a return on your energy and if you haven't been sending out happy energy you might not be happy with the next seven days Camellial is trying to make the connection for you that you have had lots of lives to practice this wisdom and that now in this life there's an opportunity to really put that wisdom into practice if you don't like something say you don't like it but say it in a truthful and positive way it doesn't have to be said personally it doesn't have to be said as an insult or as a blame um, or as a criticism it's saying, I don't agree. Basically, that's what you're saying when you, you're putting information out. You're saying, I don't agree. Or you're saying, I see it this way. Or you're saying, this is an opinion I hold or a belief I have. It doesn't have to be agreed with. It doesn't have to be backed up by, you know, everybody joining in and agreeing. It's about being your authentic self and being positive about the fact that we do have differences of opinion. Hi Muriel, lovely to see you. Um, use the, the coming week to offer yourself out into the world as a positive light, not as a gloomy little cloud. <coughs> now, I know that's hard when it's gloomy. But within you is a spark of beautiful divine light. So if you need to sit for five minutes and go, come on, light me up, please, then do it. Let it let it happen. Let that positive energy come in. It's amazing how many of us don't receive. We say we'll give and we don't receive for ourselves. I need to be very specific about tomorrow. <clears throat> Um, tomorrow there's a, a kind of upheaval, unsettled feeling that's really close to the surface. Almost like a volcanic feeling, like well, 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 there's going to be an eruption. <clears throat> I, I want to encourage you, and uh, Atelial is wanting to encourage you, to be very gentle and loving with yourself. Because what is bubbling up, is the kind of explosive stuff that just needs to be got rid of but not necessarily to anybody else this is about the giving out of energy you get it back um we live on a planet that's full of crystal vibration and what mother earth can do for us is transform that energy transform that uh, negative vibe and send it back in in a beautiful rhythm of, of loving kindness so if you feel that volcano bubbling it's time to get rid of the energy in a different way <laughs> sorry you would laugh if you could see me some evenings stamping a lot <laughs> irene stamping along the path <laughs> by the river stamp 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 
what I'm doing is getting rid of the energy. Or I'll go and make the bed. <laughs> fighting with the duvet and fighting with the pillows and banging the pillows to get them in the pillowcases. I'm getting rid of the energy. I'm actually saying, come on, Mother Earth, take this away from me. Um, <laughs> going and having a conversation with a tree. <laughs> you know, they're so kind and patient. And I'll just go sit there and go... <laughs> and what they do is they go, oh, she's at it again. Let's get rid of this. So... If you're feeling that pent up, emotional, ugh, find a way of releasing it that's not sending it at others. Don't get cross with others. Don't get picky with others. Just, I'm giving it to the earth. Saturday, you will feel a lot lighter. That's the important thing. When we release, we feel lighter. But I, I really need you to put your protection bubble up because I don't want you to fill yourself back up again. Um, sorry, somebody's tickling their head. <laughs> a bubble. Imagine a bubble. It's a beautiful bubble. It lets in the positive. It gets rid of the negative. It bounces it back to where it came from. Put that bubble firmly around you and stay in that positive flow because we're part of an ocean of energy, the waves of energy that wash over us. And after all that releasing, and some people won't have done what we've done, which is gone bang our cushions and our pillows, some people will have gone, Ehh. yeah, that wave will come back washing over us, but we don't want it, so we're going to have our bubble. Sunday please send the positive out please come from that place of positivity of love of compassion if you want to put your feet up put your feet up if you want to go for a walk go for a walk do something that um yeah Gemma the armor <laughs> do something that lets you feel um upbeat okay because then you radiate that out. And it's often interesting to watch the waves of energy because I'll get this wave of negative. And then there'll be so many people going, oh, and sending a beautiful positive wave out that counterbalances it. So send a bit of loving kindness out on Sunday. Monday, be ready to receive because the kindness is coming back that's if you sent it um tuesday be ready to receive again and take the positivity that you can monday and tuesday are days of remember i said camellia's about so you're going to get some reminders some prompts about past life stuff so you do need to be very loving to yourself Monday and Tuesday, to allow yourself to observe these things and go, yeah, okay, that's a pattern I don't want. That's a, a way of being I'm not interested in any longer. And stepping through it quite delicately, really. Um, Wednesday, I feel like you'll feel a lift because we're starting to flow into the new moon uh, the full moon energy now this full moon will be a lot of lift energy okay get get your dreams out and examine them again on wednesday where do i want to be what do i want to do what am i going to use this leap of moon energy for what am i going to take action on and positive action on so that i leap forward that's the key thing the more that you notice your energy <clears throat> the more that you go back to your dreams and 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 refresh the positivity the more the universe is going to say this person really wants this dream and making it concrete um i've put a wish out to the universe and i was laughing to myself when i put the wish out 
uh, and it's about doing a talk somewhere and I put the wish out and I thought okay I put the wish out I'm not stressing on it because I know it'll come back to me but actually if I'm going to do that talk I need some practice so what am I going to do to practice to be ready for when the universe brings that back to me that's what I mean by taking action it's no good sitting back and going oh yeah you can't win the lottery it much as you dream of it unless you buy a lottery ticket that's the truth <laughs> <laughs> I know they used to say you've got to be in it to win it, but it's true. <laughs> Universe can't deliver what you require and desire if you aren't taking part in it. And part of taking part of it is using your beautiful abilities and reshaping your life to use those abilities as much as possible. Because when you send it out, boy, does it come back sent another wish out today because something caught my eye about a conference I want to go to so I sent that wish out too and then thought all oh, right I better get saving so I've been in bank that's why I was running <laughs> to the post office I've been in bank some money and thought right that'll be conference money show the universe okay it's what I've banked is a long way off what it will cost because it it, it's about going to another country and all sorts of complications however I'm saying to the universe, yeah, I'd really like that, please. That's what I desire. And I know it will come back when it's meant to come back. So it's a week of past life focus, a week of halting those patterns of judging yourself so harshly, and a week of making sure that you send out beautiful dreams and follow up with a little bit of action so the universe knows you're serious. You've done it before in many, many lives. So let's get doing it again. One of the wishes I've also sent out, because I did a blog piece about it yesterday, was for mental well-being, because it touches us all. We're all affected by, you know, the times when we are not feeling balanced in our thoughts and feelings and it will come to being if we take the steps now to start to say we're serious universe please change this if there's a cause you love if there's something you're passionate about help the universe to change it for you by sending the intention and taking some action it doesn't have to be a big action as I've just said I've put a little bit in an, an account <clears throat> and said right fill that account it may be that you want to volunteer somewhere it may be that you want to give a donation it may be that you look at one of these just fund me campaigns and think yeah that that, that, that. Uh -huh. it may be that you volunteer your services. There are lots of things, practical things we can do to help one another. And if we do that, we are going back to purity. We are going back to our authentic selves because we're showing that we care about ourselves and the world we live in and care about the people who share it with us. So send out the positives let's have the positives back receive it back doubled tripled it will be wonderful thank you very much for everybody's watching uh, right now thank you if you watch later please if you know anyone who might benefit from uh, this video uh, uh, tag them in or, or share it around it's it's fab if you do uh, you can follow my daily blogs on www.anniconvoy.net I do want to mention that I have a, an annual, uh, a monthly newsletter um, now available with uh, guidance in it. Um, big step forward for me to put something like that out. Uh, it is a subscription, so it's £30 for the year's um, uh, letters. Um, if you want to comment, please do, because I love reading the comments. I'll try and comment back whenever I can. 
Um, send me a friend thing. I'm on Twitter. <laughs> I'm on Instagram. I'm on all these other things that <laughs> sometimes I think, what? <laughs> so have a lovely week and I will be back next week. Bye.